welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shayla. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a haul video for y'all. It's a small one. Everything is in this box. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this film so I could put everything away. Um, and then at the end, I'll kind of show y'all some tags I made. I was just kind of fiddling around. Um, but I think they turned out really cute. So let's just dive into it. Okay. Um, this probably won't be a long video because I don't have a lot to show. So, um, first off, I did get these fabrics. So this, I, I think this is Batik, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's printed. Um, it kind of feels like it's, I don't know. I don't know how they do this, but, um, it feels more homemade, I guess. But I really, really just liked the colors and the pattern, obviously. I thought this would make a really good background for a journal cover um, that you could add stuff on top. And I'm sorry if I sound a little nasally. I'm still getting over some crazy sickness. I think I had the flu. Um, you know, it's just been like a week. So <laughs> I'm ready to be done with it. Um, okay, anyways, this one is a half yard. It was $2 and this one was a dollar. Um, but this one is the same kind of style, but it's blue. Very, very pretty. Um, and there's quite a bit, so you could probably do more than one journal. I always find that fat quarters are enough to cover a journal as long as it's not humongous. Um, so I usually gravitate towards the fat quarter size, but sometimes it's nice to have a little extra material. And then this one I don't think is batik or maybe a different style of batik. Um, but it kind of looks like almost tie-dye in a way. Again, I just liked it. It's kind of like grungy looking, but also pretty. So, I don't know. To be continued with those. Okay, and then this next stack, it was clipped together. Um, it was 50 cents for the whole stack. Um, but it's just a bunch of different papers here. So, we have this paper, which is, and I'm kind of, let me see if I can zoom y'all. Yeah, I have you zoomed in because of my little bar right there. Let's see. Um, so this stack is, um, it has like, I guess, I'm guessing that's French. <laughs> um, but it's really pretty. It's very like pastel colored. It's hard to tell in <clears throat> the camera light. but um, And then it has a cute little flower and a little bee. And there's quite a bit in here. So... I like to use these to tuck these into journals or belly bands um, just to give whoever gets the journal some sort of writing space um, because it's pretty on its own. It doesn't need anything. Okay, so we have that stack. And then this was in the middle. And at first, it's so funny. I thought these were um, peas like in a pod, <laughs> but they're not. They're just leaves. <laughs> Doesn't that look like like if you just glanced at it, it could be like peas in a pod? I don't know my brain. <laughs> um, but this one has a nice like writing space that it's not completely patterned. Um, but I thought that one was really cute too. And these are good sizes, I think. Um, so those, there's those. And then this is the last of that stack. And it says the soul that beholds beauty becomes beautiful. Isn't that so precious? And I love it's like a faux wood type look. Um, this is really pretty too on the side and they're all the same and they're not double sided or anything, but this one does have that nice kind of like parchment paper look to it. Um, so yeah, 50 cents for all of those. And then this one is a little funky. Um, this one was also 50 cents. Some of these I probably won't keep. It looks like someone was experimenting with, you know, mixed media and paper and whatnot, which I think is super cute. Um, and I got it for that reason. So the first page is like, I can't, if you can tell, it's like an ink splatter page. Very, very cool. See, there's some like drawings and stuff. But you could use this for a really great background page, I think. Um, and then here's the other one. I just always look for unique things like this. And it even has like little flecks of gold in it. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very cool. See, there's the gold right there. Um, and then this one is a little strange. <laughs> this was one I probably won't keep. It says 17 things I'm not allowed to do anymore. Have recess, go to Gaddy Town. There's like 
won't say that, but there's that. We're adults. Hopefully we're all adults. I'll cover it. Um, but yeah, play on the seesaw. This one is kind of questionable. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Have kids goals, maybe? I don't know. So yeah, I guess they were just playing, you know, this could have been like an art journal or something. Um, so some of these I probably won't hang on to for that reason because um, they're kind of personal. We'll just put that one off to the side. Um, and then this one's super cool. It's like, it feels like it's painted on and it almost has this like leather texture to it. Like it looks like it's just construction paper. Um, but it does have this like leathery feel and they put glitter on it. It's really cool. So I liked that one. And then this one as well, same thing. And here's another one. <laughs> I feel so bad for whoever this is. Look at that. This shouldn't stress you out, you know? Your friend should uplift you, not stress you or put you down. Um, and then love, you know, all the different things we love. Um, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Again, I think this was someone's art journal. Um, life. So these I will probably not keep, although the paper's cool. I just, you know... It, you can kind of see the ink on the other side. So they just scribbled on this one. It says blue wave all over it. And then here, see, oh, I feel so bad for this person. Okay. Anyways. Okay. This one was really cool. I think this was the selling factor for me on this. So this is just like, I don't even know what they did to this. It looks like just paper that they collage and then... I don't know if that's tissue paper on there or toilet paper or what. Because, you know, you can use those to layer. But it's something. And it feels just super neat. I just thought it was really neat. Um, and here's this one. This one's similar to that black one with the glitter. Kind of the same kind of almost like fabric-y feel for paper. I don't know. But I love the marbling type look to it. I think that's super cool. I don't know how they did that. But very neat. And then we have more of the splatter papers, which I don't mind at all. I think those are cool. Ooh, that one's pretty. It's like very, it looks to me pink, but it looks on here purple. And then we have um, some more splatter. So you could cut these, you know, and you could use them as backgrounds for tags. Um, I mean, all sorts of like collage projects. And this one actually has some silver it's like silver white glitter spray or something on it. It's kind of cool. It makes it look like murky. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> Foggy, cobwebby, <laughs> something. <laughs> but it's cool. It looks really cool in the, you know, the actual light. There's that one. Ooh, look at all the gold in that one. So pretty. There's like giant splatter but see you're like uh, I don't like it as a whole page well if you cut it in half you know you could even use these as background pages for like a signature you know if you fold it in half and then you could collage on top so many so many different options um there's that one it looks like just someone was experimenting I totally am here for it though this one reminds me of a volcano right very cool deep reds and golds looks very fiery and then there was just some like random pages in the back <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um so I picked that up for 50 cents there's a lot you know to work with um it always makes me kind of sad though when I see people's like finished things you know at the store but I understand we all grow out of things and we grow out of crafts and We'll just remove these. I, you know, whoever this is, I hope you're doing well in life. And we move on. Okay. So the next thing I have is, I actually haven't opened this. Um, I just saw it's the crafting. I've seen some similar to this. So I kind of want to open it with y'all. Um, it's the crafting edition. So let's zoom in here. And we will open it together, a little ASMR. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, 
I always think that's so funny. I mean, I get it. Like, my kind of ASMR is like digging my hands through a bunch of beads, you know, that sound. Oh, so fabulous. But I think that's because I'm a crafter. Um, where are my scissors? Scissors, scissors. Here they are. I was, oh, like I said, I was doing a little crafting last night. I was in the mood. And so I did make a few tags, which I'll show you all at the end. Um, and I think they turned out super cute. You know, sometimes you just see something and you're like, I'm inspired. That's kind of what happened. Okay, so it came with, I don't think, no, that's not part of it. It was just in that pack. So these are separate, or maybe these are like the sheets that go with these. I'm not sure, but we'll go through it together. So we have some sewing notions, very cute. Yeah, these are just off cuts, I think. Super cute though, they're a good size for a journaling card. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, very adorable, very scrapbooky, you know, not like super vintage, which is fine. Oh, it always makes me sad when the cards aren't cut. Well, you could save that one. All of them. Oh my gosh, I have too much washi. Said no one ever. I need that. <laughs> I love washi. I've gotten rid of a lot of my washi, which is a good thing because I had too much. But um, I do love washi. You know, it's just cute. And I don't know. It's small, so you're like, I could hoard uh, some of it, <laughs> and it doesn't take up much room. Um, and then these guys, you can definitely save. Um, I know Natasha, I think, at Treasure Books. I'm sure we're all very aware of Treasure Books. Um, but she does, she has a video on, like, how to repurpose packaging, and it was so inspiring. I watched that a few weeks ago. Um, but definitely check that out if you have not. It's one of her newer ones. Okay, and then these guys, the, so this whole pack was 50 cents. These are $4.99, or they were $4.99. I don't know if all the pieces are there, but that's a great deal. Um, so let's, let's dive in. I'm excited. Okay, maybe I don't have to dive in. So that's what it comes with. So we have eat, sleep, love, craft, handmade goodness, to-do list, handmade with love. You don't find the happy life, you make it. So true. Um, I like to party, and by party, I mean stay at home in my PJs and do crafts. <laughs> that is so me. Oh my gosh. Sewing mends the soul. Ugh, I want to learn how to sew. The answer is crafting. I don't care what the question is. Um, eat, sleep, craft, repeat. So some of these are like, you know, your little traditional like eat, pray, love type sayings. But they're so cute because they're all crafting. Make something pretty today. Okay, and then this one. I'm, I'm wondering if it's the same one. Let's see. No, these are different. I am creative. Drink your caffeine. We have projects to do. <laughs> That's a good one. Crafting is the best medicine. So true. Um, keep calm. So on. I'm happy when I'm crafting. So many cute ones. And this one kind of looks like it might have been dug through. I could be wrong. But either way, this one, I love the what was it? Oh, I like to party one. <laughs> That's my favorite. Okay, so we have these. So very, very good deal. Um, and then these, since they're off cuts, sometimes I'll keep them. I have like um, a little container that has cards that are like journaling card size. So I might put some of these in there, but otherwise they'll go in my scrap bin um, since they're not full, you know, sheets. So, um, so we'll see about that. And we'll just set that off to the side. Yes, my desk is not clean right now um, because I was crafting. And I'm getting ready for a show on whatnot this upcoming week um, on Thursday, Thursday evening, where I will be doing a demo live um, on whatnot. My link is down below um, in the description. You can sign up, um, bookmark my show, and then you can see me live. I mean, you'll see my hands live. Um, but I will be making, it 
it's kind of a secret, um, but it's an hour long show and I'll be doing a crafty tutorial and my crafty tutorial, I'll actually be selling the kits so you can make it yourself when you get one. Um, and then of course all my shows are like my past shows I've done are available on whatnot as well. Um, and yeah, and yeah, also too, if you sign up you with my referral code or whatever, you do get some money to spend on whatnot or for your first purchase. Um, so that's exciting. You could, you know, if you want a kit, you can buy a kit or you can use it with any other seller. Whatnot is an amazing community, but I digress enough. <laughs> okay, so I got this fabric. This is one yard. It was $3. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? You could cut out these individually, which is why I got it, honestly. So I could cut these out and use them in like a journal. So, so pretty. I don't want to unravel it. But basically, it is just a bunch of florals and there's butterflies. Um, there's some leaves. It's very pretty. So this was a steal, I feel like. Steal of a deal. Okay, um, up next, I grabbed this little measuring tape. Um, it was 25 cents, but it's that nice, like, vintage type look to it. It's not paper. At least I don't think it is. No, it's not paper. Um, but I really liked this number styles, and it you can tell it's older. So you can cut these and put them on you know, like the edge of a page if you wanted. You can make a belly band out of this. Um, you could use these for charm dangles, all sorts of things. So if I ever see a good vintage measuring tape, I'll usually pick it up for that reason. Um, okay, up next, I have these two. These were 25 cents each. Looks like on clearance, they were 97. Um, these were Joann's at one point. Do they even make this? I feel like Joanne has their own, like, you know, brand now. Like, it's not called Joanne, but I could be wrong. Um, so these are little envelopes. They're square vellum envelopes, um, which these make really great pockets. So you can just cut off the top there, you know, and then it's just a little pocket and you could decorate, you know, the other side. Um, but I also like them because you can kind of see what's in them. So you could put something very, like, a really cool image in there and you can kind of see it. So I got these. Um, I got both of them because they were 25 cents. Who knows if I'll use them both. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got those. I might do one of these as a giveaway for my show. Who knows? No promises. <clears throat> okay, and then the next thing I got were these really cool, I think these are vintage buckles. I'm not entirely too sure. Let's open them up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm still, you know, I'm still sounding a little not well, but I do feel great. So that's all that matters. Um, okay, so these are just super cool. I think they're just plastic. There's plastic buttons, but they do look vintage to me, especially like that one. I could be wrong. They're very spring. Oh, sorry. They're very spring colored. Um, was that spray painted? No, I think that's just the button. But they're very spring colored. I don't know. I thought these were cool. That one kind of has a little, a little smudge on it. Um, but I did, again, Natasha at Treasure Books did um, something really cool with like a buckle closure. So that's kind of why I got these because I actually don't have any buckles in my craft arsenal. <laughs> and if you've seen my room, you know. <laughs> um, so these, this will be a fun little addition and I loved the colors. So, okay, moving on. Um, I picked up the zipper. I don't know why. I think it was because, well, no, this is a 24 inch. Um, I don't know why I picked this up, but it was, um, I think it was 50 cents for this. Maybe a dollar. I'm not sure. I know I had something in mind for this, but I don't know what it was. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> uh, sometimes like I'll see, 
<laughs> Sometimes I'll see crafts on like Pinterest or something and I'm like, ooh, I need to make that. I need that. And then I'll get it and I forget why. So there you go. It's because it's been sitting too much. Okay. Um, this little gem was 25 cents. Look at this. Somebody made this. Um, I think it was an ornament. That's what it looks like to me. But they cut out this cute vintage image, which was probably from a greeting card. And it's embossed. And they added, like, little pearls to it. I mean, it's an adorable little ornament. I mean, it's not small either. So I just thought that was so cute. And you all know I love cat things. So I had to get that. Okay. Um, I found this little book. The ABCs of Embroidery. Um, and look at that. It was 29 cents. And I don't know what the date is. Let's see if we can find it. Um... I don't know if y'all want to Google it. It's the ABC of Embroidery. This is Starbook number 165, American Thread Company. But I don't see a date on here. So, but either way, let me zoom you out just a little bit. Okay. Um, either way, it has a lot of great imagery in it. And I like the little faux scalloped edge that they did. Um, very, very cute. Ooh, that's an eyesore. <laughs> There's this, it's a, uh, oh, just printed in USA. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the date of this is. Looking older, but I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments if you do look it up. No pressure though. Um, okay, moving on. So this one was 50 cents. They are little playing cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but they're like the conversation hearts. These are so cute. I love unique playing cards. Aren't they adorable? Hot lips. And that's the back. They're, you know, they're not like anything super special, but hug me. We have kiss me. Uh, forever. Forever. Endeavor. Endeavor. <laughs> endeavor. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Um, I crack myself up sometimes. And then we have be mine and love you oh so cute um so I thought those were cute I probably won't keep all of these but you know for now we'll keep them in their little box here so cute okay and 50 cents you can't beat that okay the next thing I got were these um they are they were two dollars but they're Texas themed and they're backless stamps. I thought those were so cool. I had to get them, you know, because represent. I am from Texas. Um, not from like the Alamo part, but I am from Texas. <laughs> so I have visited the Alamo once and I went to the um, near the Alamo. There's like a little Spanish market. Oh, my gosh. So great. I had the best um, chimichanga I've ever had there and to this day I still think about it and I was very young when I went so <laughs> um I know San Antonio does have really good food but I just never make it down there it's it's too far it's too far okay and then I got these look at this old school Michaels isn't that crazy oh my gosh 50 cents but it's a cat garland it's a paper cat garland I thought that was so cute. You know, like I said, anything cats, I have to get it. <laughs> and speaking of cats, geez, I'm really proving it today. Um, these are 25 cents. They're three blank cards. I don't know if they're all the same, but I do have a small collection of cat cards um, already. So let's see if these are the same. I think they are. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, they're the same. Little stoic cat there. Oh, look at the inside. Oh, what a fun surprise. That's adorable. So there's three of those. Very, very cute. And that comes with the envelopes. Can't beat that. Okay. And then we have a few more things in here. So these are also some cards. These were 25 cents. I believe they're all the same 
Let's let's just take them out and look at them. I loved these because they're big butterflies. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all the same. These are more papery. They're just plain. Environmental Defense Fund. So these were like some promotional cards, I'm sure. Very, very pretty, though. It's interesting. So these are glossy, and then this one is matte. It's like they left that one out or <laughs> something. But the look at the, oh my gosh. The envelopes, though, those are beautiful. So those are cool. And then we have, <laughs> okay, I got this card because I saw this and I was like, what does this say? Like, sometimes if I find a really good greeting card, I'll pick it up for, you know, whenever it's time to use it. But I thought it was super cute. And then the back says, <laughs> we're dangerous together. I like that. <laughs> It was a dollar, but I think, feel like that's worth it. Um, <laughs> so let's look at the inside. And this is just one. Oh, look at the little, little envelope. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> that's so great. I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's about it. Last but not least is this box I actually got. Um, it was a dollar. Let me just show you. Oh, okay. Let me zoom me out here. So super cute. I guess that's the artist, Sue Dreamer. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I love like little, and look at the plate, like the little face plate. Who? Oh, so creative. It is such a cute little shoe box. So that is about it. Um, let me show you my tags really quick and then I will send you on your way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I made these last night. Um, so I made this one. And this is just a collage. It's just a plain tag. I usually like to leave one side blank if possible for, <clears throat> excuse me, some writing space. And then um, we have a little doily here. No, I did not make that. Um, I actually cut it off of like a giant thing of doilies, but I thought it fit really well. And then it says prove them wrong and it's kind of 3D-ish, you know. Um, I just thought she looked, <laughs> she looks so confused. Um, okay, and then this one I actually covered with some little wallpaper. So I'll take these out, you can see it. And then I put you're so lovely and then... <laughs> It's like, it almost gives me like, um, I'm going crazy vibes, <laughs> which maybe I am going crazy. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then I just kind of put this little, this is an off cut of paper. I just rounded the edges and then inked it just for some, to show that this is a pocket. And then I also added a plain little guest check as well that I kind of cut, um, just to give it some di like height like that perfect so cute and then there's the back this one was a craft paper um and then I made this little guy so I got this book it's called maybe I showed this in a my last haul video I'm not sure um it's called cat high yearbook and it's basically like a yearbook um but it's like you know, like, it's like, instead of people, it's cats. <laughs> um, and so one of, I used one of the photos. <laughs> and this is actually also wallpaper in the back here. So I covered that with some wallpaper. And then I added some, like, music notes. I added some little stickle dots. So you see all of those. And I added a word. It says experience workmen. But look, it's the Pawpaw Shopping Center. <laughs> Uh, and then this actually, um, is a tab that I brought, that I bought from a seller on whatnot. Uh, her name is that tabby cat, but she makes these little tabs. They're called tabby's tabs. Um, and this is from braille paper, which I thought was super, super cool. So I added that. And then I also added this little decorative, um, Brad to the back and yeah, we have a cute little tag. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I just love this image. <laughs> it's 
so great. So those were the tags I made last night. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I hope you were inspired. Hopefully you'll make some tags um, or you'll make, you know, whatever you're working on. It's just important to always stay crafty. Um, and with that, I'll leave you guys to it. Please follow. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.